right off 321. Outdoor Resort Scallenberg. Those bears on the fence right there. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're in spot 29. Number 29. Yep. Pretty big place here. It is. Bingo, Saturday at 7. Now, a lot of these in here are stationary, right, Mike? Yes. All of these, I believe, are private owned. But we'll get the scoop on that. Right now, we're just kind of headed down and around back up to site number 29. But they do have X amount of sites, and we'll, we'll get all that figured out that you can come and rent, and that's what we're doing. It's a big place, and there's lots of <laughs> sites in here. Yeah. We are set up. They have some nice chairs, and they got a table back there, big tea. He's got his mat, nice concrete patio. Look, so. and look at the shirt I have on today. Yes. <laughs> big tea, the pug. <laughs> yeah. And, um... I don't know. We may end up cooking something here in a little bit. There's another table right back there. This is a full hookup site. It's really pretty. You got a fire pit here. You can walk all the way down. Oh, isn't that pretty? Looks like they have some lights right here too. But yeah, that's that's really nice. Stone wall over there that's been built many, many years ago. And then there is actually another level here. I am not sure what that would be used for. Unless you could put a couple some chairs down here to sit closer to the to the creek, you might maybe? Yeah. Anyway. They were nice enough, Karen, to drop us off. I know it. A golf cart. Look at that thing. To park, to drive around in. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take you guys and show you around the the resort here in a few minutes. Look at that. Easy go. Easy come, easy go. All right. We're going to get things set up, the blinds up, and the bed down and stuff, and then we're going to chill out for a little bit. See you all in a minute. And we have with us Gerald Harris. And Gerald is on the board here, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so I was going to let Gerald kind of give an overview of the park here, and if you're maybe interested in coming and staying, this could be some great information for you. There's 306, 376 uh, lots in here. They're all privately owned lots, but we do have a lot of people that rent their lots out in here. We have 11 that we rent out through the office that is vacant lots, you know, for pulling your own camper on in here. We have two pools. We have the largest pool in Sevier County, privately owned pool. It's bigger than Olympic size pool. And we have an adult pool. It's for 18 or over. We do have a cafe here. It's, it's Tuesday through Saturday, eight to two. She has great breakfast. It's home cooking kind of stuff. Breakfast all day if you prefer it. And we do have, it's all full hookups. We got full 50, 30, 20 amp. We got service. We got um, sewer. We got water. And we got cable hookups at every site in this park. Got a uh, laundromat. We got an activity room with games in it. Game room. We got an adult room with, with TVs. It's got card tables, you know, stuff like that in it. If you want to go meet, because we have different meetings during the week. Like on, on Tuesday night, we have game night. Yeah. And a lot of the people in here get together and play cards or okay. Monopoly or something, some yeah. kind of some kind of game. Yeah. In here, I find it. We just love our little paradise here. It's about 40 acres all together. We have two creeks here. Oh, uh, got Noisy Creek and we got Webb Creek. And we uh, just backed into our site here. And this um, this creek right here, what's the name of it? Noisy Creek. Noisy Creek. Right. Okay. Yeah. And if you're a golfer, you got uh, Bent Creek, Cobbly Knob. Uh, you got Trisha's Mountain Diner that's just up the road, and I think we're right at about 10 miles from here down into downtown Gatlinburg. Yes, right. Maybe we're about 10 miles out. 15 to Pigeon Forge, something like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we look forward to staying here. Thanks for stopping by Thanks. and giving us some more information. Is there a certain place people can go to find out what spot, spots might be available, or they just need to call a phone number? We can call the office for the sites like these, and they'll tell you what's available and when. 
Okay. Like I said, they are privately owned, but we run them through the office for the, to help the lot owners out okay. on that. But uh, the other other ones in here, what's got full camper stuff on them that rent there, most of them is Airbnb or something like that. Airbnb, okay. Yeah. So people can come in here and stay in one of those, obviously, yep. Yep. And while they're here in the mountains. Or if they're like us, have their own rig, they can get one of these spots like this. Yeah. So. I'll tell you what, folks, we'll put the phone number down below, and you can call if you'd like some more information about it. Okay, so we got the grill fired up. We'll clean it off. And tonight is smash burgers. Love them. Here comes the meat. How big a one do you want? Not that big. Assuming you make mine first. Yes, make yours huge. <laughs> okay, hold that. Need some butter on there, don't I? Mm -hmm. There we go. Good enough? Yep, that's going to do it. Take that one straight right there on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got us some big buns this time because they're always too little. Yeah. For these big smash burgers. So we'll let those sit there for a minute and then we're going to mash them down. When do you put the seasoning on them? Oh, we can put a little bit on there now if we want to. People ask us all the time, we use this on our potatoes and everything. It's McCormick Montreal steak seasoning. I love it. I'm not sure I'm not going to tell Karen, but. That one's almost as big as that one. Looks like we got some cheese. She likes spinach and some uh, barbecue chips. We got the good Lewis Brothers buns. It'll be good. It's time. Take some wax paper. Marching down. Not that. Oh, that was a little oblong. Let's see if we're ready to put these. What's your splatter? Oh yeah, that looks good. Mm. Okay, so Karen will need to cut hers in two today. You might be able to eat a little half on with that. <laughs> Cute little thing, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> put that on a biscuit, that'd be good. Yeah, okay. Good meaty taste tonight. That bone's gonna swamp that little thing. I don't have to go stand that grill. <laughs> and I like to clean the grill real quick. Get this heavy stuff on. The sun's sitting here in the smoke, is in it? Yeah. Well, it is a um, beautiful evening. It really is. Oh, look, a folded one. Lord, we love you and worship you. Thank you for the opportunity to stay here and how gracious our hosts have been. Thank you for this food and your means to provide it. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Mmm. <laughs> Good. We've been talking about wanting a smash burger, haven't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is so juicy. I'll to take some of this bread you know? off. Oh, I know. They always are. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. This will sit here and watch the sun go down. Mm -hmm. Enjoy these. Mm Guys, for a tour, <laughs> gotta lock the van up. We're gonna take Big T with us too, aren't we? Yes, we are. That? Mm -hmm. Here we are. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Looks like people got their own mailboxes here. Uh huh. This is the office over here. And this is 321. Like I said, it's about um, 10 miles. To Gatlinburg, downtown that way. It's pretty here, isn't it? It is pretty. So we have a Sunday service at 11. Mm -hmm. okay, so we're going to take a ride here and swing around, take you guys through. 
to see it that way. This is Creekside Drive. A lot of people have golf carts. Yeah. So they're strewn in it. Yes. I say this is a way, this is a great way to tour a big campground. <laughs> it is, isn't it? That's Valley Lane back through there. Look at here. Oh, here's a little bridge in the creek. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Uh huh. But there is 210. 211. Got a skeleton laying there. <laughs> it's a little retro. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of lost now. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> Folks, if you live in here and you see this, we apologize. We uh, may be going the wrong way. Okay, so we made it back here. Last time we turned around. This time we're going left. It's a beautiful evening. You can see all the way up through there. Campers. There's a big pond right over there. Oh, yeah. See that? There's a path access to the lake up through there. There's bears there. Mm -hmm. We were just talking how everything is really clean and neat yes, in these areas, is. aren't they? Yes. Crossing the creek again. Mm -hmm. One of the two creeks they have here, he said. It's a Hampton. Mm -hmm. Gerald did say that some of them are available for Airbnb. Yeah. There's a space right there. There's several that are empty. So nice, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Right there, back into the creek. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Kids playing. Big old pool. Mm-hmm. Pretty. And there's an adult pool somewhere. I don't know where it's at. But, yeah, for um, 18 and older. I think there may be a cafe in there also. You can get breakfast and drinks and things like that. Just until two every day. Yes. That's a nice facility there. Adult activity room there on the right. In the middle, arcade room, and to the left, laundry mat. And you said over here was... Fireside cafe. cafe and camp store. And here is a putt-putt course. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty. Picnic tables. Mm-hmm. There's uh, what they call an adult pool here. That's what we were kind of looking for to show you guys. They hid it so the kids couldn't find it. <laughs> uh, right back in, yeah, it's back in behind there. A much smaller pool, but just for adults, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. And here we are. Well, it is like, that was rock riding in my... Stroller he rocked that, a didn't little he? bit more bumpy. Huh? <laughs> Although his stroller can probably be bumpy too. He just sat right there. <laughs> yeah, he did. No problem whatsoever, yes. did you, buddy? <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're taking fun pictures, <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> pretty evening, isn't it? It is pretty. The fire is going. So pretty down through there, isn't it? And we are right up there. The fire going. You want a marshmallow? Oh, thank you. You don't? I'm still full from Smash Burger. That was delicious, wasn't it? It was delicious. There's a couple marshmallows here. You gotta reach out. It's not really that cold tonight. No, it's just a little bit cool. But a little bit cool in there, yeah. 
I mean, it's cool enough to have a fire today using our little stove. In the morning, I think we're gonna make some oatmeal, aren't we? Yes, and some toast, some sourdough, grilled some sourdough toast. Good sourdough bread. Big T has been crashing there, asleep. He's snoring. No, you all can't hear him, but he's snoring, believe us. <laughs> I think I'm on fire. Yeah, that's what you want. Perfect. Well, that smells so good. They're black. Black as coal. <laughs> it's good, that taste. So is it's it? good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tonight we wanted to talk about grace for just a few minutes. We'd love to read y'all's comments whenever we share about different things. What do y'all think about grace? I know so many times in ministry, through our whole ministry experiences, literally several places in the United States, and I'm not sure people have always really understood it, and maybe we didn't, none of us really understand the grace of God. No. But so many people that I've met are trying to earn something from God, mm -hmm. instead of seeing what God has for us through His Son as free. And they try to work at something to, to gain it. You can't work at anything no. to gain favor from God. You already have it if you know him. Cheers. <laughs> I love how that idea applies to people too. Like one of my favorite quotes about grace is from Lisa Turkhurst, who's Proverbs 31 founder. But she says something in one of her books and Bible studies like, I try to give grace to other people because I so desperately need grace myself. We all need it. Yeah, so if if we know we all desperately need grace, then we will be more likely to extend it to other people. Yeah. Yes, to just be, just extend grace because we need it too. So if you're worn out and you're tired and you just can't seem to be getting where you want to go in life or in church or whatever it may be, I want you to stop for just a minute. And maybe you just need to give up, really. And say, I can't do this. I can do this in my own strength. I can do this in my wife's strength. I've got to do this through the strength of God. Because you can't do it on your own. None of us can. No. Ask the Lord to help us give grace to others. And where's Especially there? people in our own family. Yes. Just give grace to others in our own family. And listen, give, give yourself grace. Yeah. Sometimes we're so hard on ourselves. I think that's key right there. And we need to give ourselves grace. So give yourself some grace today. There you go. <laughs> well, we're going to sit around the fire here yes. and enjoy it. Sing Kumbaya. No Kumbaya tonight. <laughs> Listen to the creek. I'm not sure if y'all can hear it. Kind of got the mic pointing this way. But this, this creek is actually called Noisy Creek. Yeah. <laughs> and a funny name. It is. No yeah. Noisy, Noisy Creek. Yeah. at camp this morning we're gonna have oatmeal and this time we're gonna have toast with it we're gonna and just in a pan we're going to um, grill up some sourdough bread with butter on it that sounds good <laughs> See ya. Okay, everybody, welcome to breakfast in the Smokies. Yes. I don't know if there's anything better. Do you? No. I can hear the noisy creek. Yeah. <laughs> Let's sample this oatmeal a little bit. Mmm. A little piece of this buttered up I'm gonna put sourdough. Mixed fruit jelly. 
Smucker's mm. mixed fruit jelly on mine. I didn't know that was an option. And while she's getting hers ready, I wanted to share a few things about the campground with you here, the information they gave us. Some of the amenities are complete hookups, free Wi-Fi, cable TV, three bathhouses, laundromat, LP gas dispensing, recreation lodge, fireside cafe and camp store, shuffleboard courts, basketball court, playground, library, arcade, two swimming pools. There's a big one we showed you and the other one is adult only, mini golf, horseshoes, fishing which is catch and release only, trout streams, pets allowed, garbage pickup, so you can see they got a ton of stuff they offer mm -hmm. here and lots of activities too going on so how have you enjoyed it i've loved it here it's very nice let's go with jelly try it why is yours laying on top of mine oh sorry you gotta watch her like a hawk <laughs> it's raining here this morning mm -hmm. folks in the smokies They've got a fireside cafe and camp store. They serve breakfast, um, lots of different things, even biscuits and sausage gravy. But they've got a lunch menu also. But you can, you can get breakfast until 2, I think yeah. he said. And then they have an um, events calendar. You can see there, there's always something going on here that you can get involved in. This is a, a, a nice campground. It really is as clean as we were riding around, I noticed. Mm -hmm. um, very well kept and you can tell they care about mm -hmm. it right they have maintenance people and mm -hmm. well, we had um campfire last night campfire this morning yeah that was that was really nice mm -hmm. the bathhouse here i'll show you a little bit of inside the men's that you can take a look at but uh i thought the bathhouses were very clean also yes, very nice yeah and they are really wanting to get the word out that they're not just a resort of people that own the campsites but they have airbnbs here you can talk yes. a little bit about that mm -hmm. and camp spaces like we're in that are actually for for rent yes for rent owners themselves Excuse decide me. to put if they want to do an airbnb for their particular camper uh, mm -hmm. rv and you can find that on the actual airbnb site so you just go to airbnb and look for outdoor resorts or we're going to put a phone number down in the description yeah uh, if you're interested in, in maybe camping here we will we'll put that down below you can call that number and they can tell you what sites they may have we're like i said we're here right on the stream mm -hmm. which is beautiful but you can check that out if you want to just come to the smokies and you don't have a camper you can like Ken was saying, rent an Airbnb inside here, and mm -hmm. man, 10 minutes you're in Gatlinburg, yeah. 15, you're over in Pigeon Forge, the traffic's mm -hmm. not too bad, so it's a great place. So thank you to the guys here at Outdoor Resort in Gatlinburg for having us. Yes. and hosting us, y'all were great hosts. Yep, we do appreciate it. I'd come back here for sure. I would too. Great location, mm -hmm. this is a great spot. How many places can you get? A nice little stream right here right. behind the camper. <laughs> Breakfast is great, by the way. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, if you can't tell, we just love it here in the Smokies. Yes. And we love camping. And we invite you to come and mm -hmm. find a good spot to camp here and bring your family and enjoy everything that the mm -hmm. Great Smoky Mountains has to offer. Western North Carolina. Yes. Okay, so I always try to share about Wi-Fi and cell signal. The Wi-Fi is it's really spotty. Yes. Um, they do have some that's pretty constant if you go down by the cafe and things. I think they're working on a lot of these things to um, mm -hmm. to bring it up. You know, this, this campground, campground is an older campground resort here. And mm -hmm. um, so they're working really hard at it. Cell signal pretty much across the board, I think. We've got maybe one bar. One bar. That's all I've yeah. had. Yeah. Look who's here. <laughs> you see him for that water. There you go. He's here to say goodbye, everyone. <laughs> He's had a good time camping here. Big T has. All right, folks. I guess that'll be it from here in the outdoor resort in Gatlinburg. Yeah, right off 321. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. We appreciate everyone. Until next time, we're Friday. Forever. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.